Okay, here we are again on the Tot Guard TOT Guard electric assist bicycle. And uh, this is at 394 miles I put on this bicycle. Uh, in On my way to town, or well, on the way back, had a flat tire on the back, but I carry a spare tube and a pump and the 19 millimeter wrench it takes to remove the rear wheel to do it. Um, anyway, just a little cheap $15 pump on Amazon. But I have seen some reviews that the brakes on this particular bicycle suck. And I'm going to show you how to fix that because uh, when I ride it, after I adjusted my brakes, let me move my saddlebag. <clears throat> Different set of saddlebags, and I have a top bag. Anyway, um, if you adjust them right, they work fantastic. I mean, I could be on dry pavement and hit the rear brakes, and uh, it'll lock up the back tire. So I'm going to show you how I adjusted them. <clears throat> All right. First off, you have this alum bolt here and here. I loosen those and loosened this one that holds the cable. This drops down, okay? <clears throat> and then what I did is I flipped the bicycle upside down and you see there's a back pad and a front pad. Shimano brake pads fit this, okay? But I loosened these two up and uh, I went ahead and put blue Loctite on them again because they are blue Loctited in. And what I did with the bicycle upside down is I turned this allen bolt here and you don't want it tight and what that does is it pushes your rear pad out and the clamping action is from the front pad if you can see that the front pad moves and hits the disc this disc is thin so it's going to flex and what I did was I turned tighten that allen bolt while um, turn the wheel, tighten it a little bit more, turn the wheel, until that pad contacted this disc. And once it contacted, and I can hear it rubbing, I backed it off slowly, um, an eighth of a turn at a time, until it didn't rub. Because you don't want that friction, you'll heat up your brake pad and you're going to burn it up. After I did that, I tightened these two Allen bolts back up with blue Loctite. That's this one and this one. And then I brought this up to an acceptable throw rate and locked down the cable. And eventually I'm going to take that tip off or solder it and snip the cable because I do not like these cable tips. I'd rather have it soldered so they don't ever fray. These cable tips, if they come off, that cable frays. But anyway, again, loosen this one, this one, and this one. This will drop down. It won't come off the cable. With the bicycle upside down, give this one a couple of turns until this inner brake shoe touches that disc. And then back it off to where it's just not touching barely. And if you put a lot of miles on your bike like I do, you are going to have to adjust that rear pad out. Uh, it's a heavy bike. It's 45 pounds. So this brake shoes are going to wear more than standard brake shoes and i've got another set coming that are shimano brake pads uh whenever i change these pads out and put the new pads in i will show you how that's done it's real simple you just take out these two bolts lift the whole caliper off drop the old pads out drop the new ones in and then readjust it okay guys so if you see bad reviews on this bike and they say the brakes suck that's because the people putting them together don't know how to adjust their brakes. And again, they have to be a bro, uh, adjusted a lot more than standard bicycle brakes because this bicycle is a lot heavier and you have a power on that. But you want to make sure that that brake shoe is not rubbing. And also, when you get the bicycle, you're going to have to adjust your rear uh, shifter and your front shifter and what I do is I put it all the way in low gear and then I adjust it until I can roll the chain backwards and it doesn't make any noise and I know I'm an adjustment and these two screws are what you use to adjust it your front throw out 
I do the same thing here. I adjust these two screws right here until you can roll it backwards and the chain is not contacting either one of them, <clears throat> which I do need to clean up that cog a little bit. I got some grass in it and that's what that little clicking noise as actually the upper cog is doing that but I need to adjust that a little bit more but I do carry a toolkit 19 millimeter wrench to take the back wheel off I carry a spare tube a bicycle pump alum wrenches and all that so I can fix my bicycle on the move anyway guys hope this is helpful and we'll see y'all later in the holler